So, now, if you have been paying in any attention to the world of finance, you may have come across something known as technical indicators. And these are mathematical calculations based on price, volume, or the closing price of an equity or a stock or a security contract. And it's typically used in the field of technical analyses. I'm not here to talk about technical analyses as per se, that's not important. But what I'm interested in talking about is how do we compute technical indicators, some of the most common uh, technical indicators, say, for common stock, common stocks that most people invest in. So again, underscore pip install Y finance, as you know, Y finance is the place from where you know, you get all the stock price data for free, you know, stock price movements, we are going to use an inbuilt library known as Talib, which is, you know, it is a technical indicator library. And for that, the package can be, uh, this can be installed from Anaconda from Conda and import Y finance as YF n yf dot download i'm interested in the apple stock prices i'm going to start at 2019 and on 31st of december 2020 and this is a daily chart so interval means that i'm getting the daily prices so you know you have the 2nd of january the 3rd of january and so on and these are my data so this is the date the opening price which was 38 in 2019 and volume was this and 2020 was for 132. Now let's just plot these data. So I'm going to, I store my Apple stock price values in a variable called N. Dot plot. Legend. Because we need a legend, true. And I'm going to put in fig size 12.5. So you can see the, this is the opening price, which has been steadily increasing from 2019 onwards, although there was a bip, blip in April 2020. 20, I think that was for the for most of the world when we had the pandemic lockdown. Import matplot.pyplot as plt. And now first we are going to focus on something known as the simple moving average, which is one of the most common and most powerful of technical indicators. It's called SMA. we just have to call the function and we usually compute it for 200 days 50 days and based on that we make decisions whether to go long or short so n i'm going to add a new column called sma 200 because i'm interested in the 200 day sma values they are one of the most commonly computed moving average values in this case i'm going to call the library talib dot sma because SMA is the function I'm interested in and which attribute do I want it on because when I retrieve the prices I get the opening prices, the high prices, the low prices, the closing prices. So I'm going to say open. You can do it for any of these attributes but I am going to go with open. Open and specify the time period. Yeah. 
and then you know we can just plot this using pi plot and we are going to plot all three lines so first i'm going to plot this opening line by saying plt dot plot open and yes it's n open because this is n is where the data are stored and i want the opening value color black and label daily open price and if i was to actually see n head now you'll see what, what i'm getting up to yeah so through this computation you see over here i've been able to add new columns for sma 200 and sma 50 and then plt dot plot sma 200 color well label sma 200 so n sma 200 color green plt sm dot plot sma 50 label then we say plt dot legend i mean this is basic visualization plt dot title and then finally plt dot show so you can see these are the daily opening prices in black the 50 day moving average it moved like this and the 200 moving average which you know which gives you a more of a long-term perspective was steadily moving up and that's the green line